Hello, I'm Dr. Erin Daniel with Rejuvenate Life Chiropractic, and today I'm going to talk about two conditions that can be what we call congenital anomalies, or while we were forming in utero, things didn't go exactly as they would normally. The two that I'm talking about are Chiari malformation, C-H-I-A-R-I, uh, I have to spell it out, you see with my finger, uh, as well as a tethered spinal cord. Okay, so Chiari malformation and tethered spinal cord. So what are these things? Well, a tethered spinal cord, the spinal cord is being held down too tightly. A Chiari malformation, part of the brain is coming through the hole or opening the frame and magnum and going into the spinal column. Okay, we're taking up space that the cord should occupy. So putting too many structures in a too small of space creates pressure and nerve problems. I didn't officially get diagnosed with these until 2014 and 2015, um, even though I had symptoms from as far back as probably 1997. Uh, more symptoms were present in 2001. So what are some of those symptoms? Well, for the, I had both, so it's hard to say what came, but I had Chiari malformation surgery and then I had a tethered cord surgery. Uh, so both ends of the spectrum, up, up by the brain as well as down by the tailbone, okay? Brain, sacrum, okay? I was having a lot of headaches constantly. My neck was always sore. I'd have numbness, burning, and tingling down both of my arms. I had trouble concentrating. I always felt like I had this brain fog. I had sensitivity to light and sound. I did not like going to concerts or anything like that. I would just cringe. Um, I had dizzy spells in which I, if I didn't lay down, I puke. I would get that bad. I'd have to lay down for hours in order to get that to go away. Um, it was affecting my workouts, so I wasn't able to work out as intensely. Any lifting that I did just really threw off that numbness. If I tucked my chin into my chest, I would get zinging pains. I didn't know that those were not normal pains. I had zinging pains back in high school um, in which I would do certain um, stretches and I'd feel it. It's just thinking, oh, that's just me. I didn't, I didn't realize. So even going through chiropractic school, I went, yeah, that does zing a little bit, but it's normal for me, you know? Uh, not normal, but typical for me. Uh, the tethered cord, I had a lot of numbness, burning, and tingling down my legs. Um, again, more problems with tucking my chin into my chest. Everything was hurting. Um, I just felt so much tension throughout my whole body and anything, a lot of different movements, like jumping movements would just jar um, and feel like almost electricity going through my whole body. I had a lot of digestive issues. Um, I, in none, not all of the symptoms are only these two things that I was experiencing. I had a lot of nervous system disturbances because of them. And so there were a lot of abnormalities and things that were helped through chiropractic for other nervous system disturbances. And then there were some things that were just not. Um, I was told by Mayo Clinic in 2001 that I had a chemical imbalance causing numbness and I should go on an antidepressant. And I said, can you test for this so-called imbalance? They said, no. I said, I guess I'm not going that route. So I did find a chiropractor who helped relieve a lot of the symptoms. But then in 2007, I got into a car accident and I could not get the symptoms under control after that. So a lot of people will find out that they have these malformations after a car accident or they've been bounced back and forth from doctor to doctor to doctor like I was for many years. It was uh, allergists and ears, nose and throat specialists and pediatricians and that's a whole other story. I was uh, fired as a patient at 13 because I wanted to know the cause of my underlying health issues and I was sick and tired of pills, potions or lotions. Again, all things that um, I talk a lot about in my upcoming book, Healing Through the Storm, How to Restore Health While Life is Happening. Hence my passion for chiropractic, how to remove nervous system imbalances and educate people on physical, chemical, and emotional stressors that cause problems. This is what I love doing. 
Um, so Chiari malformation, part of the brain, cerebellum comes down, occupying a space that it should not. My surgery, um, I actually had gone to Columbia St. Mary at the Wisconsin Chiari Center with Dr. Havez. Um, they removed a chunk of my occiput and allowed more room for my cerebellum or part of my brain, put a mesh, uh, mesh in there to kind of hold everything in place. Had that surgery, uh, still was experiencing some problems, especially the leg stuff. I have an extra lumbar vertebra, so I have six instead of five, so lumbar is low back. Um, I needed my chiropractic experience, I needed those full spine x-rays that I had in order to determine that I actually had six, otherwise you can miss that depending on what sectional you're taking. Um, but basically, my what would look normal sitting at um, spinal cord sitting at L1, L2, the space between there was actually my two and three because I, I have six. So it was being stretched too far, um, giving me all of those symptoms. So what they did for that one, they cut a hole in the sacrum, okay, or the space between your hip bones, and they cut what we call the phylum terminale, which is a little ligament that holds down the spinal cord so that it could have some room and not be so stretched. Um, as with everything, and you'll you know learn for a lot of the things that I talk about, everything is multifactorial, there is not just one thing. I still had some dizzy spells after both surgeries. Uh, there is a stress component in my life that had been present that um, cause those things to be worse, but now I can do this and I don't have shooting pains. I will still have a little bit if I do a lot of tuck jumps, like in HIIT training, uh, I'll still get a zing on those. I don't do those very often, or I do one down, one down. I can't go up and up and up and up and up. Uh, it does not work for this body at this point. But other than that, I still do, um, you know, most other normal activities just need to wear a helmet. Um, if I'm on a bike or if I'm on a motorcycle or something like that, riding a horse, which people should do anyway because our brain's kind of important. Um, so definitely educating people on what these conditions are is important to me because I went through a lot of different um, trials trying to find what was actually going on. So if symptoms had started in more like 97, and I didn't have surgery till 2014 or 2015. This was a lot of years of that. Um, I should also mention my pupils had been uneven. Uh, and when that would happen, I would get adjusted and they would even back out. So it would, it would help uh, with a lot of things. It just wasn't able to help with the headache that I had was just constant, relentless. It was not going away. Um, a lot of times these things get poo-pooed away, like they're not, like you're crazy, you can't possibly have all these symptoms, it doesn't make any sense. Well, it does make sense if we're talking about the first part of your spinal cord, if that's got nerve disturbances to it, it controls everything from that point down. Um, and then if you are in that upper area of the neck, you have even cranial nerves like that can be affected. Uh, one of those nerves is the vagus nerve, uh, which descends and goes down and, and does all of the rest and digest function for your, you know, basically your insides, your innards, your guts, um, any kind of digestive organs, etc. cetera, heart. Um, so you can have a lot of different symptoms based on, on those kinds of things. So again, the two conditions are Chiari malformation and tethered cord. Um, my upcoming book will talk more about those conditions as well as some other neurologic conditions that tend to be present um, in, a, you know, at least enough percentage of the population that it's important to know about. But I was happy that I decided to go with surgery and I still get adjusted, so that's not a problem. I still get my neck adjusted. I still get my low back adjusted. I need to get my adjustments. Um, you know, now even more so, uh, we all could use, you know, a weekly adjustment. Um, so those types of things are great. If you have 
um, more questions, you can always find me at rejuvenatelifechiro.com uh, or check out more videos on this YouTube channel. I have lots of different things, lots of stretches and exercises that are really effective for people. So this is the portion of my practice that I like to educate uh, just because I don't always have uh, the time to do it as an individual basis with every patient and or if I show individual patients then I have a reference and they're hearing me explain something the same way again. So again, Dr. Erin Daniel with Rejuvenate Life Chiropractic and I hope you have a fabulous day.